Hi and welcome to another video. In this video I just wanted to review the Nighthawk M1. Uh, so it's a gigabit LTE mobile router um, or router. Um, so basically um, I've got this one. As you've probably seen in a previous video I bought a D-Link uh, DWR921. Um, I wasn't very happy with the uh, actual router. I think due to personal uh, conditions and circumstances in, in our area where we live, um, there is not currently a very good 3G, even uh, 4G signal. Um, but when I try to move that uh, router uh, um, around using the 4G uh, built-in antennas, um, I, the signal was um, was terrible. Um, and also um, I did manage to buy two external um, aerials that you might have seen in a previous video as well to see if uh, I would boost the speed um, as you probably have seen it didn't make much difference at all um, and I did try multiple locations around the house and I used the cellular uh, map data as well um, that's what I found really good where you can actually see where your cell tower is um, for your mobile mast um, for your network and uh, you can see what bands they use and everything else. But I, um, so after all, I just uh, thought, well, there must be something here. I can try and get anything better. And I saw some good reviews on this one. Also, there is, of course, there's new versions out. There's the M2 and the M5. That's a 5G one. But this has suited everything for me. And um, it might, it, it was only 170 pounds as well. So it's a lot less than the other version, newer versions where I don't need the extra two gigabits or the 5G because I can't even just about get 4G. Um, but I saw really good reviews and this is, seems to be a solid uh, device, uh, LT router as well. Um, so I've just picked this one up. So I just wanted to quick do a quick unboxing and I'll also show you the advanced features. So as you can see here, um, this is the M1. It's a gigabit LT mobile uh, router. So uh, as you can see here, you can stream and connect multiple devices. And also what's really good is if you, if you have Arlo cameras. So Arlo normally have base stations with them, but you can actually set this up as a base station and have Arlo cameras connect to this because um, they normally connect to and record to the cloud. So you can use this instead um, as a normal router at the same time. So it's really good, especially if you're in an RV or in a mobile home or caravan, things like that, and then you've got some CCTV and there are Arlo ones then, uh, because Arlo is Netgear as well, you can connect them to this, so you don't need a separate, um, the base station as well. So that's really good. So as you can see here, some of the features, um, it's the Nighthawk M1 router, so it includes a battery as well. Um, I think it's around four or 5,000 milliamps. Um, You've got a quick start guide inside. It's a USB type C, so it's good to see for charging. AC adapter, and in particular, my one is the UK, but it came with a Europe adapter as well. Um, you've got some dimensions here, as we'll see later. It's very small, and it weighs only 240 grams. That's really good. So what really impressed me is that this one has the uh, gigabit CAT, so it's 16 LT advanced, um, and it uses up to four times carrier aggregation as well so it joins them carriers all together again you see here the 4g 4x4 uh, MIMO and the LTE bands as well so it's multiple LTE bands um, that's really good and also the simultaneous dual band as well so you've got 2.4 gigahertz and 5 gigahertz um, for Wi-Fi to actually connect to this router if you're going if you're mobile as well so that's really good and as you can see here it just tells you about some other features that you can uh, use it for online gaming, video streaming, uh, share media across all devices, um, offload your LT connection to an Ethernet or Wi-Fi connection, and use this as a base station, as we said, for Arlo cameras. Um, and it's got the information again in multiple languages. So now if we just uh, open this up, you can see the router straight away. As I said, it's even with the battery installed, it's uh, not very heavy at all and of uh, good quality. Um, so I'm, I'm really, it feels really sturdy. I mean, it's not cheap, but then um, it does feel, it is plastic and a rubber case on the 
on the bottom so it doesn't scratch if you put anything down. Um, and in the box, you get the usual instructions. Um, so you get the, the guide and everything else that if you quick start guide, and this particular one was a uh, O2, so you got like the uh, carrier information in there as well. And as I said, inside my one, you get the, the power brick here as well. So it has a USB type C cable. So as you can see, it's USB type A to C. Um, and you can see here the, the details of the, uh, on the charger. So as we can see here, it's actually output is five volts, 2.0 amps. Um, so it's got quite a lot there. Input is between 100 and 200 and 40 volts um, so again it's a multi adapter there as you can see it comes with a UK plug and it's easy enough to fit you just slide it on but also it comes with a Europe one as well so if you do go abroad uh, in Europe then you can have it as well and it just slides on and clicks and it again it's strong and sturdy uh, this is the cable so you can see here my one particular came with a very thick uh, quality cable so that's to a USB type A um, to USB C um, so it goes in there and you can plug it in and charge so as we said that's the, all the other things and then you've got the adapter in there as well for the uh... so now having a look at the actual router so as you can see here you've got the two aerials so you can put your external antennas in here uh, and connect them. I think they're TS9 connections. Again, it feels sturdy and strong, well built. You've got your power, USB-C, uh, your USB-A port, and a gigabit ethernet, that's really good. Um, and you can see the power button up here. Um, again, to get into here, all you have to do is a bit, you think you might break it, but don't worry, it's just clips. You just put your, your nail under, run it across, and then it just unclips like this. Um, so don't worry it is stronger than it looks um, and then there's the power so you can see the battery here so it's actually a rating of 3.85 volts and the uh, capacity is 5040 milliamps so it's quite a good good size battery I'm sure you can probably get some replacements um, so as we can see here's your sim card that goes in and then your Wi-Fi details and admin and everything else it is micro uh, USB, um, so you'll need to um, have an adapter there like me. Uh, I just uh, popped out the micro and put the nano straight in there. And again, the battery connection, as you can see here, basically it just pops, goes straight in, pushes in. And then you just put your Netgear cover back on and it clips back on and it's straightforward. And to switch on, all you have to do is hold down and you can see it switch on. So this light here reflects about connectivity and also if you on this screen here you can get uh, information about your network the uh, wi-fi this shows your battery as you can see here and this is the data flow uh, that's going through the router and you can see as it starts up you can see and then it will tell you uh, information about your network or if you need to set it up um, when you first set it up it will tell you to connect to it as you can see, I've already done that. You can see how much data you used, um, an estimation, your a network, your 4G, and you can see I've, I've charged it to 100%, so it's, that line's already gone up. And you can see it starts flashing blue. It's got a 4G signal. Um, and you can see how many bars as well and how many devices. If you do want to skip through, you use the power button at the top. You just click it once, and it'll go through to different options and it'll go off. So as you can see, you can get a lot of information there. I know the newer ones probably have touch screen, but for what I'm going to use this for and what most people would, uh, I'd save your money and uh, get this one because it does have 4G plus as well. So it should get quite high speeds if you've got a, a decent 3G, uh, decent 4G uh, connection. Um, so yeah, so overall, I'm really pleased with this. Um, I'll do now uh, some uh, tests um, on the speed and and we'll go through the advanced settings as well um, in the options so you can have a look to see if it suits your needs as well uh, because i will be using like i tried to use the d-link for was um, on my asus gtax 11000 
on my router. I want it's got a dual WAN feature, so I wanted a 3G or well a 4G uh, backup. So if my Wi-Fi goes out, then it will swap over to the 4G signal, and I'll still have internet um, until my broadband comes back. So that's been a quick unboxing video. I hope you've enjoyed it. And as I said, in the next videos, I'll do the advanced features and some speed tests um, with this device. Okay, uh, thanks very much for watching. And uh, please remember to like and subscribe.